In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add and edit filters in ProtonMail. I'm going to show you how to do it on a Windows PC, but it should also work pretty well on Linux and Mac computers, but it's going to be different on mobile devices, so keep that in mind. Now, the first thing you want to do is log into your webmail and then click on settings here on the top right and then click on go to settings. Now, once you're in settings, you want to click on filters on the lower left. And here under custom filters, you'll see two buttons, add filter and add sieve filter. Now, if I click on add sieve filter, it, you can see that it's kind of like a script or a code that you have to enter. But I don't know how to do this exactly, so I'm not going to show you how to do it in this tutorial. It's uh, really a video of its own. But uh, basically, I'm just going to click on cancel here and then click on add filter, which is the regular filter creator. Now the first thing you want to do is add a name for your filter. I'm just going to type in test filter and then click on next. The next thing you want to do is add some conditions and uh, first you want to choose the statement. Now it's either all or any. So if you have for example three conditions and uh, all of them are met then if you have all selected here then it will lead to an action. But if you have three conditions and only one of them is met then it won't lead to an action if you have all selected but it will if you have any selected. So I'm just gonna choose all and uh, then add my first condition, which is the if condition. And if the subject, the sender, the recipient, the attachment, uh, I'm just gonna choose the recipient. And here I can select contains, is exactly, begins with, and so on. There's a bunch of different options here. I'm gonna choose is exactly. I'm gonna type in my email address, Huskers help at proton.me and click on insert. Now, if, if any email is sent to this, to this email address, then it will result in an action, but I wanna still have something more. I wanna have another condition. So I'm gonna click here on add condition on the lower left. And it adds an and condition. So I'm just gonna select the option here. I'm gonna select sender and I'm gonna select is exactly Oscar Productions at protonmail.com and click on insert. Now, if any email from Husker Productions at protonmail.com is sent to this address, then it will result in an action. So now I'm done with my conditions. I'm going to click on next. And here I can select the actions. Now there's basically three, three or four categories here of actions that you can select. And the first one is labels. So I don't have any labels yet. But if I wanted to create one, I can click on create label. Now the next thing is where the condition uh, or, or where the filter moves the emails. So for example, it could move to the inbox, which is the default, or it could move to the archive or spam or trash or a custom folder. I'm just going to select inbox. And uh, then I'm going to, then you can also select here, mark as you can mark it as red or mark it as starred, which is kind of like favorite or whatever. And then there's still the uh, send auto reply. Now this is only available for paid users. So you won't have it enabled on a free account like this one is. So I'm just going to choose a label as and create a label, click on create a label and then type in test label and select the color for the label and then click on save. There we go. Now, the, if the conditions are met, it will lead to an action, which is to be labeled as test label and move into the inbox. So uh, once you're done with this, you can still click on preview here. And th this will show you kind of an outline of what the filter actually does. So the filter name is test filter. The conditions are if the recipient is exactly Huskers help at proton.me. And uh, the sender is exactly Husker Productions at protonmail.com. Then the emails will be labeled as test label and uh, the emails will be moved to the inbox. Now this looks all good and fine to me. So I'm going to click on save. And there you go. That's how you add a new filter. Now, if you want to edit this filter, you can just click on edit here and then you can go through the wizard again and just uh, choose the appropriate name, conditions, actions, and so on. Now, if you want to delete the filter, you can click on this little arrow icon here and just select delete. 
and then click delete. And there you go, that's how you do it. If this uh, video tutorial was helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in another video.